Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. First off, if you are new, I wanna say hello, welcome. I am Nisha and I hope you are here for today's makeup look. I'm so excited for this look because first off, she is cute, okay? And second off, I don't know why I've been doing a lot of green looks. It's not on purpose, I just realized it just now. I was like, dang, another green look and you don't even do green looks and i'm like is this like a holiday thing or what or maybe it's the palettes that i'm grabbing it's just the greens are like gravitating my attention i don't know what it is but i had no choice for today's palette because that's all it is in this palette is a green and blue tone going on okay so this is the ace boutique palette this is my very first time using this palette and I've had this since the beginning of the year around February, March and I've never played with it, never swatched it. Just been in my collection, just chilling. It's been in my collection and this is also giving me the opportunity to try the new makeup releases that these brands have been dropping for this month. Like, oh my gosh, you guys, I have put in a big order. It's not even a big order, but I just feel like I've been putting in order with like every different cosmetic line because they keep dropping palettes like once this year is over and this year had a new way of a life next year i'm probably going to buy maybe one or two new palettes a month and then that's it because i really have been overboard but i wanted to dedicate a year just to feel like i can just do anything and everything and just buy anything and everything that i wanted and i definitely dedicated this year to do that but she on a chill mode next year i just want to say that okay so y'all probably won't be seeing that many new releases palettes from your girl okay <laughs> but anywho if you guys want to see how i got this look using this beautiful palette then of course keep on watching I hope today's look is gonna come out right my eye has been like itching like ah i have five to six of her palettes and i think i have one on the way i ordered her a recent new one and i cannot wait for it to come in the mail but i think i've only honestly tried one and the one palette has been glued and stuck on y'all know that palette i've done like numerous looks using that palette so yeah so let's try a different one nisha <laughs> that's why i like this little series that you guys was okay with because i was like oh my gosh like thank you you guys are pushing me to use palettes that i haven't tried never and it's just been in my collection like for quite some time so like this palette in particular has been in my collection i want to say I know I did purchase her this year, but I think she was like towards like the beginning of the year, like February or March. I'm gonna prime my eyes with Elf first. I've been doing this lately behind cameras, behind the scenes, and I really like how it allows my eyeshadows to not really crease. But I really like to do this because, I don't know, lately my eyelids have been like creasing. I think like my hormones just got my whole body just like going wacko and this is one of the things that's been tacking lately so i like to put a little bit of primer on my eyelids now to prevent my eyeshadows not my eyeshadows but my um my base from creasing all right and then i'm gonna go in with shade one by juvia i'm gonna simply put this all over the eye and then i'm also gonna apply a brow bone highlight which is like gonna be a nice beigey nude color and then we're gonna jump into this look. So I do have on my cut crease stencils just to make things smoother today. And I'm gonna go in with this pretty deep, beautiful blue shade. See, I'm doing a green and blue look <laughs> because the palette is blue and green, so. And I don't really think I've done that, like that color combination really on my channel. So I was like, this would be a perfect palette to do so. I'm gonna take this blue, I'm patting it in the outer part first. And then I'm gonna bring it in the, the crease. All right, to help blur out this blue, let's see. 
I'm thinking I'm going to go in with this blue. This would have been perfect if it was matte, but it's not. So I'm going in with a, like a lighter shade of a matte blue, and that's the only one that's in here, which is the shade. I'm not gonna lie, this blue, that dark blue, the first blue, it's really harder to blend out. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe she reformulated um, majority of her palettes, and I think this is one of them. So supposedly they're supposed to be more creamier and just better quality, although the quality from the first experience, from the first palette that I've ever tried from her was amazing. So to have better quality from when she already had good quality. I'm like, wow, that's amazing. But I haven't personally tried the new quality. I guess I will um, experience that when my new palette comes in from her line. And I can just pretty much judge like the formula from there. So, but it blends, but you just gotta really take your time and put in that effort to make sure you blend out the colors and I also think it's a little bit more tougher as well because these colors are like completely opposite on shade ranges and if that makes any sense like I went from a really deep 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 almost black to a really light blue color and it's not even really blue it's not even really blue I give it I don't know it reminds me of a beautiful like cloud it gives me like baby vibes like a baby baby shower color you'll see all right and to add a little bit more color in my crease I'm gonna grab this beautiful neon bright green I'm just gonna pop it right at the tip part just to add some more color into this look okay if I feel like I applied too much color I'm just gonna go back in with my brow bone highlight and just go back and re-tap it in. And this is gonna help blend. And then one more time, nothing added to the brush, just blending it out. So today's cut crease has been a struggle because I haven't been putting my stencils in the right spot. So I had this one way up higher than the other one. That's one thing if you use those cut crease stencils, you gotta really be careful on where to place them. You gotta make sure both eyes are matching. And I don't know, I thought they were, but they weren't. <laughs> so we're gonna disguise this and we're gonna fix it, okay? So now back into the palette. I think I wanna go for this pretty green color right here. I know you guys can barely see it, but I think it'll look more poppable when I apply another color that's next to it so you can really see the difference. Because right now I can barely see it. But in person I can see it, but on camera it's like, mm. but it's a really pretty, um, like a metallic color. And I didn't apply this wet, which I should have, but I was saving that just in case I needed to use this color still because it's not really a lot of inner popper colors that's gonna stand out from this palette, so. All right, so my next color I'm gonna go for is this pretty, I wanna call it a mint green, but it's not quite a mint green, but I think it's close enough. It's a mint matte green, and I think it's really pretty. So I'm gonna pop that right in the center of the lid. I would definitely say this color is way deeper than what it looks like in the pan. Way deeper. It's a little bit more softer in the pan. I wish I would have had more of that color, but again, you're getting a good quality in this palette. So I'm just gonna go back in with Jellyfish, which is that green color. And I'm just making sure that I overlap and blend the colors together. 
So for my outer, I'm gonna use another shade of blue. I'm gonna go ahead and with this color. I don't know how I overlooked that. I wanna use probably that blue compared to the blue I use. But we're just gonna close it out with that one. Go ahead and go with that deep blue because I wanted to see, I wanted it to show a difference. So now I'm going in with that deep lagoon color. And I'm just gonna clean my crease up. Mm. This color is very deep and dark. I wasn't going for such a dark look today. So I wanna add a little bit of glitter. I have no clue where my green glitter one is at, so I'm gonna go in with the blue one. And y'all, this is from Amazon. I always forget to link it, but if I forget to link it, y'all tell me and I'll link it in the description box. Okay, I have on a new pair of lashes and I absolutely love them. They're by Beauty Creation. These are the 35mm Fox Meek lashes and they're in the style She's a Tease. Hey. All right, y'all, I'll be honest. This look is very dark. I don't know if I like it right now. I just feel like, because maybe not everything is put together, I'll have my final thoughts towards the end, but right now it's like really dark. And I wasn't going for such a dark color because even when I look on the camera, it doesn't look dark. But me looking at myself, I'm like, oh, that's not what you wanted to go for. But anywho, I'm just rambling. But let's jump into the face. Y'all already know. Yes, a moisturizer. Uh, my green tea matcha. Go ahead and check out the coupon code if you guys want to check them out. Get some coins off. You guys put in a purchase with them. Primer, I'm going in with Cover Fix. This is the blurring primer. I need my pores to be gone. Gone with the, gone with the wind. Oh my gosh, I've been looking for this product for the longest. I lost it, misplaced it in my room, y'all. This is my game changer, y'all. Remember this, I use it faithfully. But this is the Perfect Glow BB Cream SPF 30. What I like about this is, yes, this is a tinted moisturizer or a tinted foundation and how you want to put it. But let me read the benefits of this. It says it improves skin complexion, softens and even skin tone. That's what I was looking for, to help get rid of these dark marks. And it also helps reduce fine lines, wrinkles, dark spots, and dullness and other signs of aging. Y'all, <laughs> so instead of me using like the concealer and stuff like that, this is going to help out with that. I'm gonna show y'all really quick. So use this just like how you use any other um, tinted moisturizer, foundation, whatever, however you wanna put it. You just need a little, because definitely a little goes a long way. Yeah, I can see it already covering up my dark spots, right? This is better than a concealer. Look at this. Y'all ain't here for this. Look, I'm going to do it again. And I usually don't even use my finger for this trick. But we're doing it today. I was like, I've been looking for this for the longest. All right, now that I have that on, I'm going to take a beauty sponge and just blend it out evenly and set this still right now. I'm only going to set my smile line because I really crease up a lot, right? So I'm just going to take a little bit of the setting powder on my smile line. For foundation today, I'm going to go in with my Dream Radiant by Maybelline. Give this a couple of shake shakes. And pop a little on the back of my hand like so and then I'm just going to use a little bit goes a long way with it going in with my concealer today going in with dose of colors sorry if my camera didn't focus it it's been tripping lately I'm just gonna take a little bit well more of like a lot <laughs> and just Y'all seen this part. If y'all been watching every day, y'all seen this part. Blend it out. I'm 
All right, so for the bottom part of my eyes, I think I'm just gonna move. Um, I'm trying to think, do I wanna go light with like green or do I wanna do dark as in a blue? Uh, I'm not gonna use that really deep dark blue. I'm gonna use that second dark blue, which is this color right here. All right, so for my inner popper, I'm gonna go in with that matte lime green. I always go with the opposite, a lighter green in here, like a lighter shimmer color. I definitely would have went in with that one, but the lightest green is the color that I already have on my lid. So I'm gonna go with a different formula to make it even pop even more. So I'm gonna take that neon bright green, I'm gonna pop it right in my inner. Oh, this brush is not working. Well, I got me a new inner popper brush. <laughs> this is the brush that came from the Perfusion Mean Girl collection that I didn't use, and I said it's gonna be a good inner popper brush. And the way it's shaped and how small it is, you can easily get into the details of your inner part of your eyelid and then bring it down. This is, y'all gonna see this forever. This is perfect. Now I cannot misplace that because it's so small, but this is what I got going on. I was debating if I was gonna do a black liner in my waterline. I was like, mm, where do you want bold? Let's, let's, let's finish it off <laughs> with boldness. I'm gonna be taking a crown pencil by ColourPop and I'm going to try my best to put this on my waterline while the camera is rolling. What I like about these, you can you don't have to put that much effort on getting the payoff. So that's what we got going on. Oh, that is so pretty. I'm gonna pop some mascara, set the rest of my face and then come back. All right, so let's move on to the lips. I'm gonna go ahead and take a Live Glam Lipstick, my favorite brand, and this is in the shade Single AF, and I believe this is a gloss. Not a gloss, I thought she was, but anywho, I'm gonna take this pretty color. It was right the first time. This is more of a sheer color. So it does have like a gloss tint to it, but enough to where you can tell I have something on my lips. All right, just to give her a little bit of some definition, I'm gonna take a pencil, brown pencil liner, and align my lips. All right, here's what the difference looks like. This looks just, you know, nice simple gloss, but this gives my lips more definition, like, you can see the curviness of it. So and I wanna go in with a more of a natural tone of a blush. So this is my e.l.f. This is the cream blush. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this brush, pick up that product, and just lightly start building this color on my cheeks. Like I said, she's a natural blush color, so I don't know if you guys can see the difference. Yeah. Oh, and it's highlighted though. Y'all see that highlight? Y'all see that highlight? Okay. This is a pretty highlighter before I forget. This is by Offre. And this one's in the shade Blissful. I can't take it all the way because, oh Lord, Lord, Lord. <laughs> I dropped it and it just popped out. So thank God it didn't shatter, but I'm like, Lord, can we get it together? <laughs> And on my face for powderized, I do have uh, Beauty Bakery underneath my eyes and Derma Blend for all over the face. I did not use Black Radiance today because I can't find her. That was the only thing I did off camera. I already told you guys my lashes and all that good stuff. Oh yeah, this blush is so pretty. Yes. Like you can tell I got on blush, but it's not like, oh my gosh, she got on blush. It's like, her makeup looks good today. <laughs> and that's what we're going for, so. 
now that this on i think that's pretty much it for the face i definitely like this little pop that matte pop perfect so i'm gonna set it with my bh setting spray all right i'm gonna throw some hair on my head put on a top that's gonna complement this look and then I'll be back to show you guys my final thought. All right, you guys, so this completes the look. I did change up my lip because, I don't know, I just needed a little bit more color that was going on with my face. So took it off. I put on another Live Glam lipstick. And this is in the shade Island Tings. I love the name, Island Tings. So I did put that on my lips. It's a very pretty nude color. Went in with ColourPop around my lips and then to deepen out the outer part of my lips, I went in with, not that, hold up. <laughs> I went in with Dose of Colors. This is the uh, Nima Tang collection. This is her lip liner pencil. Um, yeah, so Nima Tang, I think that's the name of the shade. And it's the most beautiful, deepest chocolate, chocolate, like brown you ever seen. It, like it almost appear black when it's put on against my lip. So I have to light handedly put this on because if I go deep and dark with it, it's gonna be way too dark, but it's giving me my, my I was about to say my cholo, but I don't wanna come off racist. It's, there we go. it's like an edgy classy. It's, it gives me like that 90s um, lip liner. Y'all remember that Mary J. Bly? Uh, little Kim, everybody was wearing that lip combo back in the day. I wasn't old enough to wear lipstick and stuff yet, but this is what I feel like they were doing. But this is just more of a blendable <laughs> look when it comes to it. Um, back then, they just had the clear gloss right on top. Y'all know what I'm talking about, okay? So this is what it's giving me. It's giving me that good 90s classic lip combo vibe. But overall, like the look, love it. Love this palette. I hope you guys enjoyed and like it as well. So of course, don't forget to thumbs up this video, okay? If you guys are feeling this look, and if you guys do happen to try any of my looks out, please tag me on whatever social media that you guys are following me on, whether it's Snapchat, Facebook, or Instagram, because those are the only three that I feel like I'm on Twitter. I don't know if you might still do any Twitter, but I'm not really on Twitter like that at all. But if you got the other three that I just mentioned, please tag me if you guys ever recreate any of my looks. I would definitely like to post and reshare and just show my appreciation towards you guys but overall you guys are absolutely amazing for the support that you guys have been giving me here on youtube i thank you guys so much for doing that so please continue that support please continue thumbs in up the video and of course leave me your feedback down at the bottom and let me know how you guys feel about today's look and if you guys got this palette let me know how you feel about her first time using it and i am in love with it and i just love how this just came out so hey 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 <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching guys have a beautiful day stay blessed stay amazing and i'll see you guys tomorrow with another makeup look